All right. This is my segment called What Did Danny Buy This Week? Or actually, what will Danny list this week? I gotta tell you, I've been I've been really good about uh leaving the stuff on my desk until it is written up and out for pictures. So uh, I'm on a roll. Um so I'm looking for better quality things, higher price, and really coming back into my niche of antiques, collectibles, and glass, and starting to move away from all that other stuff that, that I've been doing. Now the really cool thing is I'm sending that other stuff to my daughter Jennifer and my mom Bobby that you guys know. Um, Bobby Bushy has Granny Square over on eBay and my daughter is must.love.stuff. Um, so between the two of them I still get to bring home the, the stuff that's going to sell for really good money but I get to send it to them because they have a lot more time to list it than I do. So I'm just concentrating on those very high-priced items. Uh, so here's here's what we got. I my auction house I go to has been bringing in the most phenomenal stuff. Oh my gosh! Uh, today I didn't actually go to the auction. I bid online, and I still managed to win some crazy amounts of stuff including an antique rocking chair. So you guys have heard me talking about coming out of my comfort zone and listing some furniture pieces. So I got this amazing antique rocking chair for $40. $40. So I'm excited. Excited. Um, but anyway, this is this is what I got over uh, last week. Um, now, you remember me talking about old photos last week and how I had gotten a lot of those. So another lot of old photos came up and this time there's there's a lot of them a lot of them and since I've already got old photos in my repertoire of stuff to list I decided to pick this up for the right price of course and again there's another old car picture in there which is a really good thing um, we've got okay you guys I don't have my glasses on the new beats Anybody know the new beats? They look like they're like the 1950s or so. Um, this is on cardstock. It's got the whole story of them on the back. Um, so I haven't looked this up yet, but I'm hoping these guys were something that you know could be worth something. Um, I've got a guy on an old bicycle. How cool is that? Remember I told you, like on these old photos, cars, bicycles, trains. Um, anything that's not just people is definitely going to do a lot better or people in settings now granted this photo is quite faded um, but it's a guy sitting kind of in a garden with some architecture behind him um, not quite the the same old thing um, got a mom and child got a little boy in a little sailor outfit He's really cute. Um, you know, some of those old Victorian ladies. Um, lots of people pictures, which aren't real exciting. I'll probably lot those together. Um, I'm trying to get to one. I had another quite interesting one in here. Um, then I have this guy who doesn't seem like just a whole lot, except for the fact that there's like a whole. Oh, wait. My bad. That's not the right one. See what I get for being organized. <laughs> here's the one. Here's the one. All right. So here's this guy. Here's this fella. And then there's a love note here with his name. So hopefully I can do a little investigating. It's got um, the years 1944. So hopefully with all of these names, I can figure out, figure out who this is. And maybe even it will tie into some of these other photos. So that'll be fun. Um, that's one of the things I've always loved about doing the antiques and collectibles is the history and figuring out, you know, who they were. Oh, the New Beats were a popular music vocal trio best known for their 1964 hit Bread and Butter, which was released on the Hickory Records label. Thank you, Molly. <laughs> now, hopefully they're worth something, right? Um, I believe I paid $10 for all of these. Ten bucks for the whole lot. Uh, can't go wrong there. Let's see. Oh, I got so many good things on my desk. Where do I start? I got a lot of three lady head vases. Um, you guys familiar with head vases? So this 
young lady is Napco. She's very large. I don't know if you guys can see the scale of, you know, how big she is, but she is very, very large. Um, I have looked her up already. You can see her mark on the bottom. Okay. Um, she will sell for about $100, give or take. About $100 for that one right there. And then I got this other one who is also Napco. And I will tell you, this is my mystery piece because I cannot find her so far anywhere. Um, and she's dated 1956. She has little pearl earrings. Um, she's in really good shape, so I'm guessing she's another $100 bill. Maybe even more, depending on, you know, her rarity. I, so far, like I said, I can't find her. Uh, and then this one here is, and I'm hoping you guys can see that, Dorothy Kindle. Uh, you guys do a search for Dorothy Kindle, you're going to find some huge prices. So, this piece itself has some chips not worth a ton, uh, but she is a tremendously good loss leader because I can start her at auction at $9.95 and she's going to drive traffic to the other head vases that I'll have listed and no telling where she'll end up. I anticipate she'll still sell for $40 to $50 due to her rarity. Dorothy Kindle is a really, really good brand. Oh, thank you, Eileen. Eileen says she sold. Uh, which one, though, Eileen? The uh, the one with the the pearls. She said she sold one like this for seventy five dollars in Atlantic City. Nice, nice. Yeah, so I'm excited. I paid fifty dollars for all three. Kaching! I love when they lot stuff together. I love, love, love it. Love it. Um, you guys know I'm a glass person. So another lot that they had was um, this set, and I don't know if you guys can see. Let me hold up the lid. This is early American pressed glass, and this is noin, known as noin, known as um, coin spot, coin dot. Kind of used both phrases. Um, let's see if I can break it before I get it listed. This is a cruet set with the cruet with two shakers and the bottom piece. Um, I didn't really have much competition for this because clear pressed glass, generally people think it's not worth anything. Um, I have not done a lot of research yet, but I know that I'm going to get um, about 75 to 100 for the, the set and at least 50 for the candy dish. And I paid thirty-seven fifty for all of it. All of it. Um, I got another really sweet lot. I was so excited about this lot. Um, it had four pieces on it, including, and I don't know if you guys can really pick this up. This is silver overlay. Can you see that? There we go. That's a little better. Silver overlay on amethyst glass. And it's got a gold rim to it. And um, there was several companies that made this. They're bohemian glass um, for the most part. Uh, Mosier was a company that made it famous for other companies to, to create and do these. Um, this is not Mosier. It's just not that quality. But it is bohemian and it will sell for 50 plus. Um, a lot of it is due to the fact that it's the amethyst glass, which is really, really popular. And then the silver overlay. Now along with that, I got this really sweet little made in France ashtray with this little spinner piece that goes in it um, that just comes out. But you can see it's got little violets, really nice subject. It's blue along the edges marked made in France. I have not looked up the the mark yet. Uh, what I did just really quick before the show was I looked up um, the spinner ashtrays and they're selling easily for $50 plus. So that's a good piece, especially since it's made in France. Um, I don't do a lot of 
purses and things, but this was also in that lot, so I got it, like it or not. This is all beaded, guys. Every little tiny piece of this is beaded, and um, it's really a remarkable little purse. It's got a, a satin interior. They stuffed it real nice so you could, you know, have it filled out. There's no label, no nothing. Um, I'm really kind of excited about this little piece. I think with all this little faux pearls and all the beading, it's an easy $50 bill. And I have this little uh, compact. When I opened it up, I found that it was a, uh, it says Fifth Avenue Rex, which is Saks Fifth Avenue. You see that? Um, it's in really, really good shape. Everything is all good. Um, and again, that should be another $50 bill. So I got four pieces and I paid $50 for the lot, but there's at least $200 worth of stuff there once I start listing it. Yep. So I was very excited about that. I love lots of stuff. You really, you guys that go to auctions, boy, you can get some incredible deals when the auction house is lotting stuff together. Because what they're saying is they don't think any one piece on its own is worth the money, even though you may know it is. Um, they just want to clear it. They want to get move it through the auction and get it out of there. So you can get some tremendous deals. Another lot that I got had all of these... Uh, blue, so all this blue stuff, um, you know, blue stuff, like Royal Copenhagen, um, the mermaid plate. And now there's many of these Royal Copenhagen plates out there, uh, but this one is the one you want to look for. Uh, this is the mermaid plate. This one is worth about 150 bucks. Um, this is 1962. It's dated. Uh, for some reason, the mermaid plate is the one that everybody wants. It's It's got all the right marks on the back. And they did not sell that by itself. No, 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 no. They combined that with four of these, which are Johnson Brothers. Um, and these are the Savoy pattern. Replacements has these for $42 each, and there's four of them. So we've got those. Da -da -da -da. Anybody not know what Flow Blue is? Um, I, can, I can tell you real quick. Flow Blue is a cobalt blue that in the process of the firing, it actually blends. It's kind of the edges are not crisp and clean. They, they, they flow. Um, so sometimes some of the makers made really, really kind of muffled patterns. Um, every maker kind of has a different process, um, but they'll always just be kind of flowed off the edges. And then, you know, for giggles, they threw in this little guy who will be going to my mom because this is her specialty. So he's about a 40 or $50 bill right there. Um, just a, a vintage dog figurine. And no, they weren't done. No, no, they weren't done. They threw this in there too. This is a signed piece of, I had to write it down because this name is crazy, uh, Sidon Stricker, Sidon or Sidon Stricker or something like that. <laughs> so <laughs> we've got some Bohemian art glass in there too. I got the entire lot, guys, the entire lot for $75, $75, and the one plate, the one plate is worth more than that, so that was, that was a really good deal. I know, I am like really happy with my auction house lately. Then I got a lot of four of these, and they advertised them as RS Germany. You guys know what very important word goes with RS? Prussia, yes, RS Prussia, love RS Prussia. Ooh, focus, there we go. Um, four plates, fifty bucks. Four plates for fifty bucks. And I will list them. I will probably do a multi-quantity listing. 
uh, probably will list those at say 49 or 59.95 each with four available with free shipping yep oh let's see oh my little girl my little girl so I've started getting back into dolls you guys it's an old love of mine now this is not a really really old girl um, but she is a what's known as a China head because she well has a China head um, it's a particular type of doll now there are some antique ones that are worth a lot of money a lot 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 of money I, this one is really well done even for a repro you can see her paint is really crisp and clean and nice um, there's no marks she is not antique but she is vintage and you can tell that by her body and the way she's been put together um, she's been put together with mus muslin uh, material and it's got that you know that age look to it that only only comes from sitting around for a while um, she's got porcelain hands and feet and she's big I don't know if you guys see she's a big girl she's like a boudoir doll let me set her back down so I don't break her and she came with another slip and a cute little dress so I'll be able to get her all dressed up um, and I basically I I stole her for 50 bucks but she's gonna stay in the family for a while even though I could sell her for about two hundred dollars I'm thinking I'm starting the doll thing back up so she's she's staying with me for a while oh let's see what else what else what else and we're running over segments here real quick went to the thrift store with one of my appsters um, and they had four of the exact same ones of these and I don't know if you guys can see that price if I can get it lined up right so they were six bucks basically and I had 25 percent off and um, four of them they'll sell for 40 50 bucks a piece one listing ka ching ka ching ka ching this is blue sky clay works and if you guys note that style you can usually find different pieces of this they sell really well they're whimsical fun um, really really good thing to be on the lookout for so there we go Whew. <laughs> so that's that's my job this week is I gotta get busy listing all this stuff so you guys can watch that um, uh, over at uh, my utterly account and this segment was brought to you by Outright.com. They are uh, an amazing, amazing company that keeps track of your income and expenses. And with the free version, you can still track a lot of the stuff you need for your e-commerce business. But if you get the pro version, they will actually help you create your Schedule C and get your taxes done and do reports of all kinds and keep you in line. Uh, I'm telling you, I, I don't know what I did before Outright.com. Don't know what I did. They're awesome.